Hey y'all, it's Dorothy from PreppingYourStep.com and welcome back to my channel. After sharing my tips for incoming college freshmen on Monday, I decided that this video could prove to be very useful for those of you headed off to college and starting your experience with some dorm life. So I'm sharing my dorm room essentials with y'all. And these are just some things that I found to be super helpful in my dorm room my freshman and sophomore year. Um, at Furman where I go to school we live in dorms our freshman and sophomore year and in apartments our junior and senior year and we're fortunate enough to live on campus all four years so I think that's awesome but I know most freshmen who are going off to school will be living in some dorm style um, building some of y'all may have suite style some of you may have community style bathrooms but these tips should work for all of you as they're just some things that I found saved some space and made things a little bit easier and homier in my dorm room. So my first thing, which sadly I don't have any of the stuff to like hold up and show y'all, but if you want to see a blog post where I do have photos of these different things in use, then check the down bar. It's the first link below and you can see that over on my blog, which if you haven't checked out, there are so many fun posts going up over there, so I highly recommend it. But as I was getting to, my first thing is a desk cut. My desk cut I found for under $50, which was a big steal considering I had seen a lot for about $300, which I was definitely not willing to spend. Um, but having a desk cut, which I got mine sophomore year and it's lasted me through senior year, makes it so that you have so much more space in your room. If you're like me and you like to hoard school supplies and you need a little bit of extra counter space, a desk hutch is a great way to create that. I would store books, um, I even place some knickknacks on it. So it was a great way to make sure that stuff wasn't cluttering the actual part of my desk that I needed to have room and space for when I did homework. The next essential is a headboard or a headboard pillow. I actually created my headboards both times I made them. So I made them freshman year, or one freshman year, and I made one junior year just because I do have different sized beds. And the one I made my freshman year is still being used by a girl in my sorority who is super cute. So she has used it. I think she's using it this coming year too, which makes me really excited. So it is still in action. I'll include the link to how I made that, but that just makes it so that you have a nice, comfortable backrest. Um, it gets rid of some of that white cinder block wall that most dorms have, and it just makes things a lot more cozy and homier. So my roommate and I both had them freshman year, and I still have them in my apartment, and I just love the look it gives to a dorm room. My next one is a sound machine, and I completely blame my freshman roommate for getting me hooked on those. So Nell, if you're watching, thanks for that. I now have one on my floor back there at home, and I also have one in storage for when I go back to school, but it's the perfect white noise to drown out any of those annoying people who decide that screaming is a good way of talking at 1.30 in the morning on your dorm hall. So it's a great way to kind of have a little background noise, but a peaceful and soothing background noise and make sure that you're not getting too frustrated by the noise that dorms sometimes have. Next up is command strips. So if you're headed to college, then you probably have some sort of like pamphlet or email that was sent to you about how to hang things on your wall and I can pretty much guarantee you that your dorm is going to require that the only way you hang things on the wall is with command strips and command hooks and props to 3M for creating these because I have gone through my fair share over the years and just as a reference my favorite are the ones that have velcro on both sides so you stick one side to the wall and then one side to your picture and then they connect and over the years I continue to use the same wall art and I only have to get one more side of the velcro so you can use them over the years um, and for the most part they come off clean other than a few my junior year but I didn't get fined so the gallery wall was well worth it but command hooks and command strips are just a great thing to have on hand. I would go ahead and buy an assortment of them so that you don't have to worry about running off to Target or Walmart as you're trying to perfect how your dorm room looks on move-in day. The next up is a desk or a bedside table lamp. These can be bought for pretty cheap at like Target, Walmart, Bed Bath & Beyond, places like that. And honestly, I think they're great to have because you more than likely will be living with a roommate and you want to make sure that you're not keeping them up if you decide to stay in the room and study. So I had one my freshman year, I think on my bedside table and on my desk, so it was nice that I could just turn those on. We could turn off the annoying fluorescent light overhead and we could work comfortably without waking the other one up with our desk lamps or bedside table lamps on. My next tip fits more for those of you who will be having a community style bathroom. Personally, I really don't like getting ready with other people, which sounds awful, but if you think back to middle school and everyone's like, oh, let's get ready for the dance, 
together. Most people love that, but honestly, I would rather do it myself. So a lot of times I would go to those sort of things and come pretty much completely ready, which my friends would question. But I digress. I love having a personal cosmetic mirror on my desk. So freshman year, my roommate and I actually had a mirror in our room and a sink, but we both had our own little cosmetic mirror on our desk. So we would just sit at our desk and get ready and have music playing or whatever we were doing. Um, and that just made it so that you have that space to get ready without having to cart all of your cosmetics down to the community style bathroom where you'll probably be forced into having like small talk conversations at seven in the morning getting ready for your eight o'clock class with the girls on your hall. So that makes me sound really antisocial and I don't mean it that way, but I would just much rather get ready on my own than with other people. So if you're the same way, get a cosmetic mirror and just keep it on your desk and It'll make life really easy. My next dorm room essential is something that I've had all throughout my college experience and plan to continue to use after college as well. And they are these $20 ottomans that have a storage compartment that I purchased from Target. So my mom and I actually recovered the top of our ottomans to make them better match my room freshman year. And then we did the same thing my junior year with the same ottomans that I got before freshman year. But they're the perfect extra seating in your dorm room. I used them as a step stool to get onto my bed because my bed was up super high, as a lot of college beds are, and we stored blankets and other things that we didn't need all the time, but were nice to have on hand in there. So they were great for when people decided to come to our dorm room for a movie night and just in general everyday use. We would sit there, um, to put on our shoes or get on our beds, stuff like that. They were just great to have and decorative and pretty inexpensive. So. A major thumbs up for those. My next is a bit more practical and I hope that you already have this on your packing list. If you need a packing list for college I'll link one below that I created last year that I think pretty much contains everything you'll need for college. Maybe it will be a little more but my next essential is a mattress topper. Dorm beds are really not that comfortable but with a mattress topper you can make it so much better. So I have one for my bed junior and senior year that I got from Wayfair.com and it was pretty inexpensive um, and it's just a feather mattress topper. It's so comfortable. My bed is pretty heavenly. So I think I had a similar one that I may have purchased from TJ Maxx for freshman and sophomore year and you can vary the thickness. You can get like the Tempur-Pedic ones if you may have a bad back or want something a little bit more luxurious. The mattress topper will be a complete game changer when it comes to how well you sleep because they don't really look for comfort when they're mass producing those dorm beds. My next essential is some plastic drawers to put under your bed or in your closet. So dorms do have a lot of storage, or at least I think that mine did. So ours came with like wooden drawers and we had a big closet. Um, so that was super nice, but I also wanted some extra space to organize out other things. So I kept a plastic drawer in my closet and under my bed and it just provided the perfect extra storage for stuff I may not need all the time but wanted to have on hand for when an occasion came up that I needed it. So the one in my closet, I think I had like socks and underwear in it, some workout clothes and some belts, scarves, jackets, stuff that I didn't need all the time but I continue to use those year after year and if you're looking for storage and organization in your small dorm space then definitely look into getting some of those. I'm sure Walmart, Target, all of those places have them and you can get them in black and white, so they come in different sizes. I'm sure you can find something that works for you. And my last dorm room essential is kind of specific to those girls or guys, if they're guys watching, who have closets but they don't have doors. So I don't know what it is about my campus, but whenever they make closets, they don't put doors on them in the dorm rooms. So my tip for that to make sure your space looks organized and just fresh is to get a closet curtain. I just put a tension rod on the doorway of my closet and my roommate did the same thing and we just had a movable shower curtain or closet curtain. You can get anything to match your stuff to block out all of our clothes, especially if you're someone who keeps your closet a little bit messier. This is a great way to give the overall appearance of an organized dorm room without people having to see your messy closet when they walk into your room. So, those are all of my essentials for dorm living, and I hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't seen my other videos from this week, definitely go back and watch them. There were a lot of them, and I'm super excited to continue to work on more for y'all. But in the meantime, definitely go check out my blog. It's always linked below. I've done a ton of fun posts over there. I hope you'll check that out, and I'll see y'all in my next video.